your East Texas Storm Team forecast with Carson Vicroy. Carson. Say it, I miss you. It's been too long. <laughs> it really has been too long. I mean, were you out flying drones, Frank? I, I wasn't out flying drones, uh -huh. but I got to say this for the people at home. Talk to me. All right, Frank. Well, let me talk to you. Well, <laughs> no, f no drone flying today because you see this flag in the background. It's a little bit windy on our Longview Tower cam. So I'm guessing the wind is going to really affect your drone flying for today. However, we do have some relief on the way. Let me explain that right now. Wind speeds are anywhere from 5, 10, 15 miles per hour in some cases, and these are only going to get stronger as we go into the afternoon and then overnight tonight. You'd see that yellow picking up on some of those higher wind gusts. That is located in north central Texas near the DFW area. But again, for us, we're going to be mainly concerned about how warm our temperatures get. Instead of being winter, this is going to feel more like spring. Temperatures are, are going to be in the 50s and 60s. So it's going to be a great idea to get outside, maybe get some of those outdoor chores done, but it's still going to be windy. We're at 66 degrees for today. It's going to be warm and breezy. You can see I've got the winds at about 15 out of the southeast tonight. They're really not going to let up out of the south at 15 miles per hour. Low temperatures are going to hold in the 50s. That's thanks in large part to our increasing clouds that I expect. Now on satellite and radar, I am taking you all the way up to Canada and you're probably asking yourself, why are we in Canada and not East Texas? Well, this is going to be where we see some Arctic air a little later on this weekend. This is where the cold front is right now, and that will be pushing to the south as we go into the next couple of days. So all that pink you see on your screen right there, that is very, very cold air. This is Wednesday. Now notice this is going to start to spill in as we go into Thursday and then eventually Friday. The upper Midwest parts of the Rust Belt there will see the pink first, meaning they're going to see some very cold temperatures. Temperatures. That's why they have wind chill advisories, wind chill warnings out for that area. Now, while it's going to be cold here in East Texas, it's not going to be quite as cold there. You notice on Sunday, that's when the blues start to show up, and eventually we're going to start to see those highs only in the 40s. Wind chill values are probably only going to be in the 20s and 30s, and that is at least through Tuesday, perhaps even Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So Arctic air, here's what we know. It's going to get cold in the Midwest later this week. Now, how far south this tracks? Still open for answers and questions. Precipitation chances at this point remain relatively low, so I'm not worried about a major winter storm at this point. And timing is still a big question on when exactly we see the main impact from that Arctic air mass. Here's that seven day forecast again, feeling like spring the next couple of days and then old man winter makes his return starting on Sunday. Look at that alternating between the 40s and the 50s. Low rain chance on Tuesday, but again, I'm not expecting a lot out of it. And then deep east Texas, 60s into the 70s the next couple of days, but it's smooth sailing with 60s Friday and Saturday, but turning colder by the end of the weekend. Frank? Thank you for that, Carson. Caught on camera this